Andrew with Blackstar Off-Road, and I'm over here at the Terraflex booth with our marketing guy, Jeremy. How you doing, Jeremy? I'm great. How you doing? Not bad, not bad. So what's going on here? We got a pretty sweet, it looks like a, a Jeep Wrangler JL frame, right? Yep, yep, we do. We've got a two-door JL frame here. We went old school. We stripped all the body off. We just wanted everyone to be able to see what the suspension components look like and how they work. So two-door JL, we cleaned it up, we powder coated it, and then on one side of it, we put all of our bolt-on short arm kits. Okay. On the other side, we've got our long arm kits, so you can see the difference from one side to the other. Oh, I was wondering why it was different uh -huh. on each side. I didn't know if it was like a specific lift. So, so what do you got on this side? So on this side right over here, driver's side, we have our bolt-on components. Okay. With the Terraflex product, you can go anywhere from mild to wild. Mm -hmm. So essentially on this side right here, we have our three-inch Alpine IR short arm kits. Okay. Bolts on, they are adjustable arms. Uses the factory um, mounting points on the axle and on the frame. Okay. Over on the other side, you can see the big black bracket right there. We've cut the factory brackets off and that is our long arm kit. Okay. So the arms over there are gonna be a lot longer. Long arms are really good to smooth out the ride quality and give you a little bit better articulation off road. Uh -huh. When you get to too big of a lift kit, those control arms get really steep and angled, and then the front axle is not going to want to move up and down as okay. fluidly, and it makes the ride rougher on road and off road. Okay. So depending on the lift height, the long arm is going to be the better upgrade option. In some cases, the short arm is going to be the better option. Okay. So I noticed these these are adjustable. So you have a, an adjustability knob here, and then also here. So is that how does that work? So what we've got right here is we've got our brand new Falcon 3.5 E-Adjust shocks. Okay. What it is, is it's controlled in the cabin of the vehicle with a switch. That is cool. And so with the E-Adjust, it's quite simply on or off, soft mm -hmm. or firm. Yeah. And you control the soft setting on the shock itself, mm -hmm. and you can actually change the ride to determine how soft or firm that switchable setting is going to be. Ah, okay. Now this brain underneath the seat, you can see everything is closed wiring, okay. waterproof, because this is going to be outside the vehicle. Uh -huh. Now, if you want to take it a step further, we have our um, E-Adjust with Adapt. And what that is going to do, it's going to have a different computer board on it. It's going to sync via Bluetooth to your cell phone in a free downloadable app. No way. How cool is that? And it's going to change the firmness setting on the shocks automatically as you're driving the vehicle. How does that work? It's all controlled with the app. You do have some adjustment on the shock itself, uh -huh. but when you switch it into auto mode, it's automatically going to adjust the firmness of the shock depending on the G-forces that the uh, Okay, so that's how it works. So it's based off of the G-force, yep. how rough your ride is, etc. So is this something that you can get on any one of your lift kits that come with the adjustable shocks? It is, yes. Okay. If you've got the electronic shocks, uh -huh. you're going to be able to do the electronic with adapt on any of our lift kits. Sweet. And then what do you guys go going on? going on back here are these uh like your most popular lips or what what's what's up yeah so what we've done over here is we've just tried to put everything together okay uh, so you can see it in one place you can see the alpine ir arms that are adjustable in length you can yeah. see the sport arm that's fixed in length they're beefy so too it, they're very beefy they're gonna be a much larger than stock mm -hmm. rear track bars our coils and again the falcon shocks it's just a whole lot of product in a very small amount of space so you can see things side by side so this is the uh st3 series 3 correct yep. okay cool and then what is this over here this right here is one of our terra 60 front axles on one side you can see we've upgraded it to the eight lug lockout hub version on the other side it's going to be the five on five factory bolt pattern so it just depends on how mild or wild you want to go with your so i mean what do you recommend uh when would you recommend someone go with an axle housing like this you know a big 60 like this i had this kind of an axle on my jk because i was running 39 inch tires and i like to do a lot of really hardcore uh, off-roading okay but then i drive a lot okay so i wanted to make sure that my vehicle was going to be really heavy duty so i can go out on the trails not break anything mm -hmm. and then drive to my next destination yeah it's definitely one of the most beefiest setups that i've seen 
the delta brake is actually clear down on the far end here. Okay, so now this is built specific for the JL? It will work for the JK and the JL. Okay. But this delta brake uses a 14 inch rotor front and rear, uh -huh. and it uses a four piston caliper. So it completely changes the way the caliper works, and you can change the brake pads without having to remove the entire caliper out off of the axle. Nice. Yeah, I literally. More of what you would find on a big truck. Yeah, that's super convenient. Um, I've never seen that setup before. Is that something that you guys. You know, I've been working on for a while, or is, you guys have that out for a long we time, or what? We were working on this back before the JL even came out. Uh -huh. We were trying to get something like this to work on the JK, and mm -hmm. it does. Uh, but after the JL came out, we switched over and we started working on this for the JL. Mm -hmm. Realized it works even better on the JL than it does on the JK. Now it's out and available on the market. We're done with our testing. Mm -hmm. You can put it on either vehicle. The full set, it's a front and rear total replacement. Okay. Um, retail price on this is $2,300. Um, so the Nomad wheel, this is a first for Terraflex. We've never had a wheel before. We had this at SEMA last year, but it's now out on the market. Okay. So you've got these really cool red anodized caps on here. Uh -huh. It's an aluminum wheel. All it's right. designed with a 40 inch tire in mind. Uh -huh. This cap right here on this side, is gonna cover your factory valve stem. Interesting, And it will work okay. with your factory tire pressure monitoring system. Okay. On the other side here, this is a built-in air deflation system. Okay. And if you look right in there, you can see there's holes in there so that when you unscrew it, it's gonna let the air pressure out very, very quickly. That so is pretty sweet. this is a sweet. great wheel for off-roading. Okay. You can adjust at what pressure it's going to automatically stop. That was gonna be my next question. Interesting. So you can, I mean, how does that work? What, you you uh, you loosen it up until it gets to the the right psi, and then that's where you just keep the uh, the bolt. Correct. So this right here makes it adjustable so that you can get the tire to stop airing down uh -huh. anywhere between eight and eighteen psi. It's, okay. There's a valve in there that's controlled by the internal tire pressure. Mm -hmm. So when you close it up, everything is sealed. It's not going to leak. There's O-rings on the cap and on this side over here to keep it sealed mm -hmm. and keep the debris out. This is gonna air down your tire so quickly. When I go out on the trail, I open them one at a time. Mm -hmm. By the time I've walked around the vehicle and opened all four caps, I get back to the first tire and it's already aired down from 35 pounds to whatever I've got it set That's at. That's pretty cool. And shut off. Yeah, I have the screw-on tire deflators and those are such a pain. Yep. They take forever to deflate. They're not, uh, they, like even when I adjust them, they're not accurate. And mm -hmm. you know, this is really cool. I think a lot of our hardcore off-roaders are gonna enjoy this. Yep, and it's available in two different colors. This is the titanium. It's also available in black. And then you can see here the display also has a bolt-on rash ring. Mm -hmm. It's not a bead lock. This is a protector for the rim itself. So you can see we've we've cut it so you can see what the rim ah, looks like okay. versus what the bolt-on rash guard looks like as well. Just to add an extra layer of protection. And I assume this the, uh, the, the rash guard comes with the rim? You can get it with the rim or without. Okay. It. Yes. Yeah, that's going to be super handy. I know on my rims are all jacked up right now. And yep. Yeah, I don't have a rash guard so I can't just remove it and go back to uh, square one. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. All right, Jeremy, so that's pretty much it then for your booth, right? That's it. Cool. Lots of, lots of good stuff coming out in 2018 for the JL, the Gladiator truck. More coil lift gets to come, but it's gonna follow the same kind of pattern with our coils, our Alpine arms, and all the Terraflex goodies that you're used to.